So it took me a minute to get around to this stuff, but uh, I wanted to test out the 5060 Ti 16 gig uh, video card versus the 9060 XT 16 gig. All right, so uh, with that said, uh, I do wanna stipulate that the cards based off of MSRP, so the 5060 Ti's MSRP is at $430, whereas the uh, 9060 XT's MSRP is at $350. But we're also gonna look at the results as they stand with an average of the three best prices that I can find on the market as of the 27th of June. All right, so the test bench I used was the 9950 X3D, motherboard's MSI X870E Carbon. The drive that I use is the Crucial T705 uh, NVMe. The RAM I use is the G-Skill Trident Z5 Royal 6000 CL28. Cooler I use is the Peerless Assassin 120 SE and the power supply was the Lee and Lee Edge 1300 watt. So the first test is a Cyberpunk 2077 at ultra preset scalings off, no RT, no frame gen. And so as you can see between the two cards at the 1% lows, not a lot of variance there uh, other than possibly run variance. So uh, they're pretty close together on Cyberpunk and not a huge difference uh, between the 9060 XT and the 5060 Ti, about four to 5% of uh, performance difference between the two cards. Uh, but I did want to point out that the 5060 Ti does slightly outperform the 9060 XT. And a couple of other things of note, for instance, the overall GPU temperature for the 9060 XT was at 55C, whereas the 5060 Ti was coming in at about 68.1C. Uh, and then the VRAM uh, was clocking in at about 78C for the 9060 XT and the 5060 Ti was coming in at 64C. And the more interesting thing is the 9060 XT's power draw uh, spiked at about 247 watts, uh, whereas the 5060 Ti spiked at 181.4 watts. And we got Black Myth Wukong. I used the cinematic preset. Scaling's minimized because you can't turn it off. No RT, no frame gen. And again, you, you can see that from a percentage standpoint, we've got a lot of uh, differences where the 9060 XT is falling behind. But when you look at the straight FPS differences, there's not actually a huge amount. It's just that when you've got differences between low numbers, those percentages can be a little bit misleading in the assumption that there's a huge difference between the two when actually the result isn't as different as you think. All right, so uh, as you can see, like I said, the 5060 Ti is outperforming the 9060 XT by about an average between 1080p, 1440p, and 4K, about an average of about 6.1 FPS. All right, and going back to the GPU stats, we're looking at 55C versus 66.4C. We're looking at uh, 78C for the VRAM versus 62C for the VRAM. The power draw is a huge power draw difference at 249 watts versus 159 watts. All right, so the next game I used was Red Dead Redemption 2 Ultra Preset. Scaling was off, no RT, no frame gen. And as you can see, the tables have turned a bit for the 9060 XT by pretty interesting numbers so we've got at the one percent lows at 1080p it's outperforming the 5060 ti 16 gig at 18.6 percent at 1440p by 9.8 percent and at 4k by 5.3 percent although as i said with small numbers you know you just got to be aware of that that 5.3 percent doesn't really mean a lot it, means 2.5 FPS difference. All right, and then on the average FPS, we're looking at 9.7% differences. 
uh, and then we got 8.9% at 1440p and 4.1% difference between the two at 4k. Uh, and the numbers are holding pretty much similar to the other games as far as the GPU stats go. We've got 57C uh, for the overall GPU. We got 82C, which is a little on the high side for the VRAM and pulling 214 watts versus 66.4C for the 5060Ti and 64C for the VRAM and 165.3 watts. And then we used a uh, Fermark 2.8.2.0 and at 1080p we're looking at for the 1% load, the 9060 XT outperforms the 5060Ti by about 4%. As far as the average frames go, the 9060 XT is behind by about 1.3%, so uh, within run variance there. And then we've got a 1% difference between the 9060 XT and 5060 Ti at 1440p for the 1% lows, and a 1.9% difference as far as the average FPS goes. And then at 4K, we're looking at 11.4% uh, uptick on the 9060 XT versus the 5060 Ti on the 1% lows. Uh, so well outside the run variance thing, but we're also only looking at less than seven FPS difference on the 1% lows. And then on the average FPS, we're looking at a positive 2.7% for the 9060 XT, but again, that 2.7% translates to less than two FPS of difference. All right, and then on the GPU stats, we're at 53C for the overall GPU temp, 80C for the VRAM on the 9060 XT, and 197 watts was pulled. And then we got 68.9C for the 5060Ti's uh, GPU temp, uh, 66C for the VRAM, and it pulled 186 watts. And this time, uh, the, the amount of power draw was almost pretty, a lot closer together than the game results. And then using Blender version 4.4.0 benchmark tool, uh, just the GPU test at samples per minute results. And as you can see, the 5060 Ti 16 gig, uh, way outperforms the 9060XT 16 gig by well over 60% of difference. I don't know why I accidentally put two minus signs there, but yeah, well over 60% overall. And so this is where AMD might have some issues with their card. Uh, so they might want to take a look at what they're utilizing and how they're utilizing their driver systems to uh, get better scores on 3D rendering because that's that's a little worrisome there compared to the 5060Ti. And then we get the Shotcut video editor uh, and the 5060Ti used the H.264 NVNC codec whereas the 9060XT used the AV1 AMF codec uh, because the AMD cards cannot use the H.264 codecs or the NVIDIA codecs. And so the export time for the 9060XT for the 20 minute long video came out at 11 minutes 58 seconds versus the 5060Ti at 11 minutes 38 seconds. So 20 seconds of difference there, which can add up over time if you're doing a lot of video exports. But if you're not doing a whole lot of video exporting, that's not a real huge difference there. And the five minute video, the 9060 XT slightly out outperformed the 5060 Ti, but that's probably within run variance. So I wouldn't focus too much on those differences. So pretty much a tie here, right? I, I don't know why I put underlines on these numbers. So you can disregard the, the underlines that makes no sense why I did that. It must have been purely accidental. Sorry if there's any confusion there. But here we go with the 5060Ti versus 9060XT, both for the MSRP and the current price as of June 27th of this year. And so as you can see here, these are the average FPS results that we got, right? And on the gaming side, if, you're, if we're looking at pure gaming value, the 9060 XT price to performance at a decent difference 
has a lot more value than the 5060 Ti 16 gig. That's not to say that the 5060 Ti doesn't have decent value, it does, but certainly not close enough when it comes to the difference between a 960 XT 16 gig. And uh, a lot of that, that obviously has to do with pricing, right? They're a little bit closer to each other when you do a side-by-side -side comparison on their price to performance versus the the street dollar costs for the best average priced GPUs on the market, but at the same time, not enough of a difference for it to actually even be a race. As you saw, there's there's not a lot of difference except in Black Myth Wukong and in Blender. And in Black Myth Wukong, uh, you know, smaller numbers versus the percentages can make it look like they're larger differences than they really are. But when it comes down to what that equates with Black Myth Wukong, your average FPS difference was about 6.1 frames a second. So not a huge difference there when you look at just the straight FPS numbers. But in Blender, the 5060 Ti pretty much stopped the 9060 XT. So I'd say that if you're looking to do uh, a lot of rendering workloads, the 5060 Ti is not a bad way to go from a value standpoint. Uh, it performs decently and it has that capability if that's what you're looking for. That being said, the 9060 XT 16 gig is the better overall dollar value when you're looking at it from specifically at least at the gaming level as you saw in the charts the price to performance was uh, a decent chunk better than the 5060 ti 16 gig so that's the results for the 5060 ti 16 gig versus the 9060 xt 16 gig let me know what you think of the results down in the comments uh, one way or the other if if you disagree or agree or uh, you want to take a look at other cards and you want some opinions or advice or if you want to give me some opinions and advice I'm always open to that kind of stuff and I'll get back to you as soon as I see that stuff and please hit that like and subscribe down below if you like the information I provided it does help out the channel a ton and in the meantime thanks for joining me and I hope to see you in the next one